Hey everybody, this is Jen from Guard Jen's Journey. I've been asked to show how I transplant my seedlings from the jugs to the garden. Um, if you recall, I just did a video on how I transplant seedlings to seed packs because we do sell a lot of seedlings for the farmer's market. Um, but it is time to actually start transplanting some into our own garden beds. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So these are the seedlings that I'm going to be working with today. Um, I watered them last night right before I went to bed because we had a frost coming. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that uh, they're good to go. Um, and uh, they look pretty moist, but uh, just to make sure, so I'm going to give them a quick drink of water. And this um, is basically to make sure that you can get the seeds, uh, seedlings pulled apart. Because you want the, the soil nice and moist. It helps things come apart a lot easier. And when the, mo the soil is moist, it's also kind of slippery. So it's actually going to slide out of the jugs a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take uh, these uh, jugs over to my container bed. And we'll go from there. All right, so these are my container beds that I've already planted into. And you can see they're doing quite well. And then I have these ones over here. This one I just planted some in last night. You can see it's doing quite well. I keep them covered because I have cats who like to use containers, especially with loose soil as litter boxes. So um, I generally keep my containers covered um, during the day until the plants get a lot bigger and then they're not in there so much because it's a deterrent. Um, anyways, so this is the container I'm going to be planting in today. So the first step over here, again, is making sure that your soil is moist. <clears throat> it's a lot easier on your transplants if what they're going into is already wet. Uh, it helps lessen the transplant shock. <clears throat> helps make the soil a little more workable too if you're working with some heavy soil. This soil um, is a blend of pre-made potting mix and then I amended it with some more uh, peat moss and some uh, perlite uh, to help with drainage but also help with soil uh, water conservation. Uh, because these container beds dry out really quickly um, which for some crops does not bode well. So we've got great drainage which for crops that need great drainage works great but we also have some moisture retention for those crops who need to stay a bit on the moist side. So we got a little bit of best thing for both worlds. Now I use my hands. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Some people have to use trowels and whatnot, and that's fine. <clears throat> but I'm just gonna kind of make sure we're even here. All right, and then I'm just gonna make a line in my soil. <sighs> it's about a hand length apart. Is what I do, and I find that works very well for what I'm transplanting today. Alright, so this is my kale. Um, this is scarlet kale. And kale can get quite big. <clears throat> oh, sorry, forgot to show you. This comes out really easy because my soil is wet and just slides right out. Alright, so kale can get quite big. Um, but what I do is I plant quite a few kale in here. And then I thin them out as they start to get bigger. I do thin them out and I use what I thin out uh, to make either food for myself or um, give to our chickens for food. And so, see how easily that just fell apart? You see that? This comes right apart and I'm not damaging the roots or anything. So these, these guys can take quite a bit. So now with plants with uh, more sturdy stalks like tomatoes and stuff, I would not suggest that you just drop them around because uh, their stalks are not as flexible. But anyways, 
the point is the same. You just break it apart very easily. It comes apart very, very easily. And um, you just plant them in. <clears throat> so. And then if I get some, like that, I've got a big one and a little one stuck together. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to stick them all together. And uh, as it grows, I will thin it out. Not a big deal. But uh, I just plant it in there. <clears throat> just like so. So again, I'm just pulling it right apart. Comes right apart. Not a problem. Snicked it right down in there. So that is how easy it is to transplant out of your jugs. That simple, folks. Really, really nothing to worry about. If your soil is wet, these will come right apart. Not a problem. And so you're not, you don't have to worry about not being able to transplant them. If you have too many seedlings, uh, plant some of your extras into little solo cups or something if you don't have seed flats and give them away to your friends or if you have chickens or other livestock give your extra stuff to them they love fresh uh, greens they love them so you're not gonna you're not gonna waste any of your food here um, there's a million different ways to use your extra seedlings if you have them so just go ahead plant what you can give the rest away but most of all, just enjoy yourself. Um, not a big deal. Just, just enjoy yourself. So that's how I plant my stuff. So hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit. Alright, take care everybody. Bye-bye.